our second tilia that we're doing this term. This is tilia cordata. So lots of traits that are the same as in uh, tilia tomentosa, but a few very easy way to tell them apart. One, the leaves in tilia cordata, they are um, have that general same shape, sort of heart shaped, um, and they do, but they do have a, an oblique base that's similar to uh, tilia tomentosa. Um, but you flip them over, and it lacks that white um, uh, pubescence uh, underneath. You also have very distinct uh, axillary hair, tufts of hair in tilia cordata. The leaves are alternately arranged. You have these quite prominent buds that aren't imbricate. They have uh, just a, a few bud scales that overlap. And you do have a little bit of a zigzag pattern in tilia cordata, not, not a particularly great character. Um, but you do have this uh, very distinct bract that does tell you that you're in uh, the genus tilia. Another good street tree, we tend to see a little bit of uh, leaf damage here on campus. I'm not exactly sure what the, the pest or the pathogen is, um, but a little bit more of an issue than we see in tilia tomentosa, which is in my opinion, a much better and a more interesting street tree. But tilia cordata is still used and you'll see